welcome to For the Love of Dogs. I'm Rainy Flynn, and this is Arthur E. Benjamin. You are awesome, Arthur. You have started the show, and tell me how it got started. Well, as an animal welfare advocate, I speak for those who can't speak for themselves, like little Wilma here, who's a, uh, a puppy looking for a home. Oh. And uh, um, we talk about lots of things, including uh, all of those that need to find their permanent home who are wandering the streets or are a little lost in life and need to get headed in the right direction. Well, I know we have Wilma today and we also have another guest with us, a human guest, Molly Peterson, <laughs> Tressa Broadhead. Thank you so much for being with us today. How did you and Arthur meet, Molly? Well, we met at the HSUS Gala, actually, and he had supported some dogs in our program that needed help with the vetting. Mm -hmm. And so it was an honor. I couldn't believe he was going to be there. So when I was at the gala and saw him, we started talking and approached him about helping our cause later and down the line. And I got on stage and I watched your face. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was definitely waterworks. To get a chance to meet somebody that's actually helped fund and support your, our cause mm -hmm. without um, being able to see them happens all the time. Mm -hmm. To be able to meet him in person was just, it was, it was a great honor, definitely. Well, thanks. Well, Wilma feels the same, you know. Every time we get together, she tells me that. <laughs> <laughs> She's such a cutie, Tressa. Well, you're quite a rock, uh, a rock star in the uh, <laughs> community. Uh, in Collin County, you're the president of the Collin County Humane Society. Is that correct? Yes, yes. And so you're actually coming today to tell us about a new project you guys are working on. Is that correct? Yes, we have started a campaign, which actually... Arthur was a sponsor of our campaign kickoff, which was two uh -huh. years ago, going on three years, mm -hmm. um, to raise money for a 10,000 square foot adoption facility. Mm -hmm. um, and we're currently under contract for 10 acres in Wiley. Wow. Yes. So it's a big undertaking. And you actually, you're going to be using it not just as a rescue facility, but for other things as well, correct? Yeah, we're, of that 10 acres, eight of it is going to be a public dog park. So people can go to that, bring their dogs, and visit the facility. We're also going to have grooming and boarding there as well. Mm -hmm. So people, instead of just going for you know a depressing walk down adoption lane, <laughs> they can go to bring their dogs and see who's available mm -hmm. and get them groomed and boarded and visit it. We're trying to make it more of a, a pleasant place to be for the dogs and animals. You no, know, but I really, really, really think you ought to tell people how you get start got started because the difference between Absolutely. Collin County Humane Society and the world is you and how you got into this mm -hmm. and why. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I think it's 12 years ago now, I was in LA and I had wanted to go get a cat for our apartment because we couldn't have dogs. So I wound up at the shelter and eight hours later, <laughs> I had wow. joined a rescue group and adopted a lab mix puppy that was gonna be put to sleep. So it was, it was, it was eye-opening because a lot of people don't visit the shelters mm -hmm. or, or think it's something and it's not, but going there and I've always had a passion for animals but I guess I never knew my passion until mm -hmm. I was confronted with mm -hmm. it and, and I felt like I needed to do something about it. So once that dog was better she had pneumonia and she almost didn't make it. Oh my goodness. And I was in college and <laughs> Wow. So. We need to forget that everybody cannot do what Molly does. Everybody can help in their own little way. Little ways like adopting mm -hmm. a dog like Wilma little ways like, like going down to their close humane society mm -hmm. or like calling Collin County and donating to Collin County mm -hmm. and uh, it's just it's everywhere and there are great people everywhere and we all care we just need to get up and do. Mm -hmm. And like volunteering I mean do you do you have ways where people can come and, and volunteer their time not only their money where they can donate on your website correct what is that website again? Uh, Collin County Humane Society dot org you can visit our website, and right now we're working on the shelter and the planning phase. Mm -hmm. People can go on and sponsor a brick, or you can sponsor a room, or you can sponsor a wall, a tile. Everything there needs naming rights at this point. So it's a great opportunity if you can't adopt to just get in and, and put your blueprint on the shelter, mm -hmm. put your paw print on the shelter, if you will, yeah. and help, <laughs> help support our cause. But in, in volunteering, once we have a facility, it'll be easier for people to come and volunteer and really get engaged. Right now, we're foster home based. Okay. So we have over 85 foster homes. So all of our 100 plus dogs are kept in our homes until they're adopted um, for the time being. So volunteers can help at events and then they can help planning events such as our gala in October. Right. Tell us a little bit more about that because I know that's how you two got connected was through mm -hmm. a gala. So what's, what's happening uh, with the gala? Before you in do that, let's remember one thing. You said how many fosters? 
Over 85. Wow. 85 families who take in a dog, have the dog for a few weeks to a month, to a few months to whatever, yeah. until the right person comes along that that dog and that person bond. That's and cool. that affords all of those dogs the ability to avoid the inevitable in a shelter, mm -hmm. but to get out and be in a home and become more socialized. And it's just a great way to help animals. So that's another way people can help. But now tell them about the gala. Absolutely. Well, and that brings up a good point. I mean, going through foster homes and going through a rescue organization versus a shelter, the one benefit with our cause is they're in homes. Right. So you get to know if they're housebroken or crate trained or good with kids, dogs, or cats. And that's kind of that scary thing that people don't want to adopt because they're afraid to make that commitment, well, we can tell you about the dog. You know, we can we can help make sure it's the right match for your family. And if you know if it's not, then at least it's going back to a home and not back to a shelter. Right. So with that, that's absolutely another great way to volunteer your time is through foster homes. So tell us about your gala. Our gala is October 13th at the World uh, Aquarium in Dallas, oh and God. it's a big indoor aquarium by the West End. And it starts off where you walk in through the check-in and you're going to be going through this rainforest. So there's birds flying overhead and monkeys you can feed and there's alligators and crocodiles. And it's just, it, it couldn't be a more perfect venue for such an event. And 85% of the proceeds go back to um, preserving species. Mm -hmm. So species that are going to be extinct, 85% of the World Aquarium income goes towards preservation efforts. And that's wonderful. And you guys are going to be having a silent auction, is that correct? Yes, mm -hmm. the silent auction will be held in the aquarium area at the bottom where it's hosted by each country. So Bermuda, Bahama, they each have their fish in the windows. Mm -hmm. So while you're gazing over the items, then you can also check out the fish. Yeah, and I can't tell you how great a venue that is. As you know, Absolutely. my late wife and I founded the Salt Lake Aquarium before I moved to Dallas. Wow. And um, the environment is great, even though there's very little uh, in common between those that swim and those that right. run around <laughs> on four legs. Right. It's a beautiful environment in which you feel nature and you feel animals. Absolutely. And the dogs actually love fish. It's amazing to watch them sit there, especially the fascination with an octopus. Dogs just sit there and watch that thing. And they just can't imagine I how can't somebody. Say I've ever I seen have four legs. That has eight legs. What's going on? Now tell us a little bit more. The gala is going to be helping to fund this facility. Is that correct? Yes, 100% of the proceeds from the gala go towards the adoption facility. So it's all being put away, and it's it's a 4.2 million dollar facility mm -hmm. because we we as a, made a commitment to when we took on this decision we made to do the adoption facility mm -hmm. not to make it subpar. Right. We're only using the best qualities. We'd rather build it right the first time than have you know have it ha need to be worked up as we move on. Right. So right now we're at a three phase process. In the first phase is the lobby and the adoption facility and phase and the dog park of course. Mm -hmm. And then phase two is the adoption area or the boarding area and grooming area. And then phase three was working in vetting and moving towards livestock. And while you're making progress, it's hard progress and every dollar helps. You, last year's gala, what did we raise? A hundred and yeah, it was around yeah, it's around 100,000, yeah. Yeah, and so it, every year is a little bit, but at that rate it's going to take a lot of years. So we Absolutely. need to amp this up. And uh, yeah. Wilma is, Wilma actually wants to go visit Tressa, so we're, <laughs> we're going to play a new game called Pass the Hot Dog, okay? <laughs> here you go, Pass the Hot Dog. Now, you've Come seen, here, these, you've seen these schematics, right, Arthur? What is your favorite part of this building? Well, I love the fact that at the gala last year, people jumped up to want to have their own, dare I say, it cat house in your dog facility. In the pit bull run. They, <laughs> they, kind of in the doghouse. <laughs> yeah. But why don't you why don't you talk about the, those rooms and yeah. the fact that people can have can forever for certain donation mm -hmm. levels have their name on a kennel and help awesome. a dog that's in that kennel ongoingly forever as the dogs change. Yeah, at our gala last year, we picked we always pick a special thing to auction off during our live auction, which mm -hmm. happens during the reception period. And um, this year, or last year, we had done a cat colony that you could sponsor, and we also did a pit bull run. Wow. So this is a run dedicated to a pit bull that will always have a place in there. And it was a bidding war. I mean, it, it raised $7,500 wow. for our cause. And that, that sponsor's name will forever be on there, and it will live on because there will always be a pit bull that will be able to be saved because of her sponsorship. Mm -hmm. 
So there's, there's things like that that can add up. And this year we were talking about doing a black dog run. Mm -hmm. And so that, that will always, a big black dog run, I should say. Uh-oh. <laughs> so it'll always be dedicated to a big black dog in need because we want to try to focus on, on areas or dogs or specialties that have difficulties. Mm -hmm. So kind of to make it, you know, make it a place for them that a name can always be presented. Mm -hmm. So Arthur E. Benjamin would always support this area and people would know that he did that, as an example. Right. <laughs> as an example. Okay. And I just keep looking back to Wilma over there and <laughs> she is so adorable and so at home mm -hmm. and so, uh, she so depicts what is possible in uh, going to someone's home or meeting mm -hmm. someone uh, that is in foster. Uh, she's been in foster with Tressa for a few months now. She's been with me for four months now. And, and look at how calm she is and wonderful Absolutely. she is. And she's available, isn't she, Tressa? Yes, she is. As are a number, about 75, 80 other dogs. Mm -hmm. About 100. About 100 wow. now. Mm -hmm. So there's a great choice. Yes. And we also have, we have another dog with us today, correct? Yes. Yes. Spike? We have, Do we yes, have Spike? Spike. Spike, come on and over here. Spike is a terrier mix. You want to hold Wilma? <laughs> you want Spike? Right. Oh, oh, either way. You take Spike. I'll tell you a little bit about Spike. Okay. Spike is a terrier mix who came to us as an owner <laughs> surrender. Um, he came in with a broken paw. Mm -hmm. And so oh. Collin County stepped up to mend him. They're friends. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, oh, we're so happy. <laughs> there you are. Hey. 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 <laughs> <laughs> to, to get him on the mend, he's been um, with us for about four weeks now. Wow. And he has a few more weeks with that cast on, mm -hmm. and then he'll move on to just a, a little oh, bit of a, oh, oh. a brace to keep him from injuring his paw again. Sure. But there's, we have high hopes for Spike. He's going to make a full recovery. Look Absolutely. at that little face. He is adorable. Yes, too. He is. What's the, he, that's what I have trouble not taking him. I have trouble not taking him all home. I mean, I just, every time I go to a show, another dog comes home. <laughs> Did you name him Spike because of his, his little spiky hair there? Spike came in with his name because he was an owner surrender. We had his name, so okay. Spike came in with Spike. Well, that's good. And I hear that he doesn't. This doesn't stop him. He's wielding it like no, a weapon. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Spike, Spike is a, a Spike is a puppy, and so Spike will run with his cast. He'll play when with. When does he get it off? Probably in two to three weeks. Okay. Um, he's yeah. He he plays with a large dog as well mm -hmm. as small dogs. He's very playful. Gets along with everybody. He's a great little dog. And where can people go to find out how to adopt these gorgeous animals? And, uh, and many more that you guys have, right? Yes, we we have dogs of all ages, shapes, sizes, and breeds at www.collincountyhumanesociety.org. And you have photos of the animals there, correct? And I yes. hear that they are turning model slash actor dogs, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Yeah, Teresa Berg in Dallas actually does glamour shots for our doggies. <laughs> so they they are adorned with Mardi Gras hats and beads and bow ties and. Um, the works and it, and it really does help because mm -hmm. you know if you have a blurry picture or red eye picture or you have um, just not flattering mm -hmm. people scan through and there's so many in need yeah. that just having a good picture can help make or break mm -hmm. a dog's adoption. Mm -hmm. And there was one more animal that we were going to have here today, but he's not present. Benny, is that correct? Do you want yeah. to tell us a little bit about Benny? Benny has been in our program almost two years now. He came to us as a pup, and he's a special needs dog. He <laughs> is one of the very few <laughs> that have um, survived his temper. Okay. And so because of that, he has a little bit of lung damage, which just mm -hmm. means that he gets wheezy when he's worked up. Mm -hmm. Wonderful dog, great with cats, dogs, kids, is you know in a family with kids right. and other pets, and would make a wonderful home, but people think of a one-and-a-half-year-old to your or two year old lab and they think it's gonna be, you know, outdoors mm -hmm. and, and that's kind of been at a you know disadvantage for him, but he he's a wonderful dog and you he know, just and needs special to fly needs at home. Dogs are so incredible. I have Absolutely. little Holly, a six pound <coughs> uh, poodle who uh, is epileptic and she takes medicine three times a day and otherwise you would not know her from any other dog, but you just have to remember to give her her medicine because otherwise right. she gets into trouble. But right. special needs <laughs> right. dogs fit a very special place in people's mm -hmm. hearts. So it's great for people who can pay a little bit more attention and are willing to take on, you know, a, just a little bit with the love. They get a lot back. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And with Benny, if you don't want a hyper young, but you want a young lab, but you don't want a hyper one, mm -hmm. he's the dog for you. So, because some people don't want to adopt seniors because they don't want to have them for two years. Right. But Benny will be around for a while. Well, I heard recently you had uh, some difficulty adopting an animal. Is that right? <laughs> There's kind of a funny story there. I was actually denied to adopt an animal recently. <laughs> That's hard to believe. What kind yeah. of an animal was it? It was a goldfish. Well, two goldfish. <laughs> you were denied a goldfish? <laughs> 
Living Society gets denied adoption. Wow, there has to be an amazing It was story brutal. Um, <laughs> we went into PetSmart. I have a two-year-old and a five-month-old. And we had talked about it all week, you know, getting a fish and something to take care of. Spike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we had picked out, finally picked out our two goldfish after trying to corral everybody and my baby was pushed in a corner <laughs> and my child kept running off and tackling a Great Dane in the doorway. Mm -hmm. So we um, picked the goldfish and then the PetSmart employee was being very helpful but in helping us it just became very involved mm -hmm. and you know we now needed a 20 gallon tank for these two fish right. instead of the little aquarium we had picked and the food was more involved we were just planning on putting the food in the bowl mm -hmm. and apparently was, we had to process it. To rescue a dog. Than to <laughs> well, it was, I mean it was getting to that point and I, I looked at her and I said look I'm not trying to endanger any fish here if you don't think I'm a good quality home we can we can put the fish back and she you know because we just we had talked about growing up we always had you know fish in a goldfish mm -hmm. bowl and we put food in there and it was fine and you know she educated me to the fact that while that is okay it's not necessarily the best quality life for the fish mm -hmm. and here in the back of my mind I'm thinking of people who come to our adoption events and do that right. and they want to put the dog in a tiny crate or they want to keep him outside right. and they tell us well growing up the dog was outside mm -hmm. all the time and we put food out there and he was happy and he was fine mm -hmm. and and again, well, that brings up a good point. If you have an apartment and you don't have a big yard for your dog, then you should be looking for a small dog that you take for walks all the time. And if you have a big backyard, then you should be looking for something that can run and play and have fun. And so the dog has to fit the home. And if you have Absolutely. kids, you want a certain dog. And if and you can help people make the right selection, right? Absolutely. And that that's what we do. And and you know, through all of that, we wound up. I asked her for her advice then, and I said, you know, then, then can you help my family, <laughs> right. who clearly is not prepared to take care of these goldfish, <laughs> find something more better equipped for us? Because mm -hmm. handling a 20-gallon tank and the upkeep and the cleaning was just too difficult. And, you know, so she, she encouraged us to adopt a beta fish. And so here we, we went to adopt these two goldfish that would be friends mm -hmm. for years to come, and we went home with a beta that doesn't get along with anybody. <laughs> But but through the guidance of the employees, they helped us make the best and decision you'll for our family. To the exactly. right dog for their family, like yes. like a little spike, spike here. here. He oh, keeps yes. looking at me. I remember the Good Fellas uh, <laughs> movie. He looks at me and he goes, "You think this is funny? Funny like a <laughs> clown?" <Yeah. laughs> and so tell us one more time. What is the organization where they can go to? Collin County. Collin County Humane Society dot org is our website. You can view all of our available dogs. You can view our shelter plans, the mm -hmm. land, the progress we've made, and, and it, it's, it's been a work in progress. I mean, the, the land isn't even zoned what we're needing it to right now, so we're in the zoning, rezoning process with the city of Wiley, and they've been amazing to work with, but it's, it's no short feat. I mean, we've had to hire civil engineers to come in, and wow. piping was, you know, as you're buying land, you're finding there's piping there that needs to be or shouldn't be, so it's, it's a big undertaking, and you know, the other part was financing, mm -hmm. just financing the land alone was difficult, but you know, right. it were a bank in Wiley stepped up to the plate mm -hmm. and supported us and said, "We really support your cause, That's and wonderful. we're going to back your loan." Right. So, with about a minute left in this segment, yes. I'd like to reintroduce Spike as one of the potential <laughs> dogs to rescue, Bobby. and over there is Wilma, who's waiting for a home, and there are another 98, by your yes. account, yeah. dogs waiting <laughs> yes, for homes. Absolutely. They can donate money at www. Dot oh. Collin County Humane Society dot org. And uh, people who want to get involved in the annual uh, gala mm -hmm. can make a request there as well. Absolutely. Yep. Well, thank you so much, Molly. Thank you for Trust having us. We appreciate you. And you too, Ro Spike and Wilma. When we come back, we'll be talking about Arthur's Big Adventures. Thank you so much. We'll see you in just a second. Welcome back to For the Love of Dogs, Arthur E. Benjamin. 
Benjamin? Benjamin? No. <laughs> All ahead. right. So you started this show. Tell me what spurred you to do this. That, for the love of dogs, it, it, the important thing is to get the message out to people mm -hmm. of what they can do to help the animals that they love. Mm -hmm. I see people all the time look at a dog that's wandering in the street or look at a dog that's behind the prison bars and they go, what can I do? Mm -hmm. And they can do anything that they're moved to do, but do something. Mm -hmm. Whether it's give $5 or whether it's go down to the local shelter and say, what can I do? Mm -hmm. Take a dog for a walk, pick up a little poop, mm -hmm. it won't kill you. <laughs> um, th there's something everybody can do. And those that want love in their home, there's a dog out there for everyone, and that's the mission of American Dog Rescue. Mm -hmm. No healthy dog without a home. Yeah. Let's, let's talk a little bit about Buddy. Buddy was Buddy? the dog that I say co-founded American Dog Rescue. Right. <laughs> he was a little adoption, a five-pound poodle that my wife, uh, my late wife, mm -hmm. uh, saw uh, long before she was sick. And uh, she looked at him, and she was looking for a little female Maltese, mm -hmm. and he was a little male poodle, and she said, that's the dog. And he did turn out to be the dog because when she got really sick, mm -hmm. he naturally began to predict her seizures. Oh, Dogs wow. want to love us mm -hmm. in the way that we need them to love us. Mm -hmm. And so Buddy lived with her right up until the end as her friend, mascot, companion, and predictor of, you know, the things that came along that she needed help for. Right. And when Katrina came along, Buddy and I were sitting on a couch and I was looking at this fluffy little white thing and I looked at him and thought for the internet 20 something in human years mm -hmm. white good looking male seeks Cajun <laughs> girlfriend to wed swimmers preferred hmm. I want to save all the dogs and cats mm -hmm. from Katrina and Buddy saved 2,000 dogs approximately 2,000 wow. dogs and cats from the aftermath of Katrina and he got Holly mm -hmm. Holly is a six pound mm -hmm. epileptic poodle that he began to predict the seizures for about three months after we got her wow. and she was only yay big she mm -hmm. was a pound she's six now and it's just amazing to see the love of dogs for their family mm -hmm. and Holly became part of the family and they were buddy Holly <laughs> <laughs> Not in connection with the singer, right? Well, at they all? howled, no? but they didn't sing. <laughs> all right, well, let's talk a little bit about Bandit. You have a, a little puppy named Bandit, right, that you're looking for a home for. Well, Bandit is sort of with me as a long-term uh, foster. Mm -hmm. uh, Bandit was here in Plano. He right. was saved from a, a situation with a breeder where he was born and didn't have the use of his back legs. Mm -hmm. He was known as Scooter for the first six weeks of his life and he wow. just dragged his back mm -hmm. around. They thought he'd be in a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. And somehow he got to me and I thought one of my Christmas miracles would be to have him have surgery and he went to Texas A&M. They said, why don't you try therapy before we do a very expensive MRI? Right. Uh, it may not work, but mm -hmm. let's do some massage therapy in the foster two wonderful, wonderful people out in, in Plano, mm -hmm. um, uh, the Collins. They, uh, they did therapy every day on him. One day, he stood up, and he hasn't stopped running since. <laughs> and so he's a perfect pedigree, mm -hmm. Maltese, type A Gorgeous. personality, Gorgeous male. Mm -hmm. He's been neutered. He's had all his shots, and he's living with me right now mm -hmm. in Florida. But he's going to come and be on one of the shows, and he's going to be here. And I'm struggling. I try not to keep dogs that aren't special needs mm -hmm. dogs. And he is clearly the most loving, terrific little guy, but he doesn't have special needs. So right. I may give him up to the right home. So if there's somebody out there that thinks that they're the right home. Well, I've already told you that my daughter has requested to have this dog. I know, so. but you're at your limit. <laughs> I am at my limit, but he is an absolutely gorgeous dog. I think we have a picture of him. If, 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 um, well, yeah. I think, oh, I, yeah. so cute, and look at how he, cute he is. That was his first haircut and he had just, he loves it. He travels around in a little school bus uh, I saw. and but uh, that, that little bag will be available for people and it'll fit under a plane seat and we're gonna do that because people don't like those just plain little bags. Right, exactly. And speaking of planes, kind of transfer, you have kind of traveled the world in helping animals. Uh, what does a dog guy, a crazy wild dog guy, do to get involved with lions? Can you tell me a little bit about that? Well, I think you're talking about Kazuma. Yes, Kazuma yes. is a lion that was terribly abused his whole life. Mm. He was on the back of a truck his whole life in wow. a cage. And Kazuma was failing. Mm. And uh, a wonderful uh, uh, rescue in Tennessee um, 
uh, got involved mm -hmm. and somehow they got in touch with me. I had done some other things with them in the past mm -hmm. and we put up a $5,000 challenge grant to get Kazuma to his new home wow. where he roams on top of a hill, totally safe from people, not somebody's pet, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. has his own roaming range and he's living out his life in freedom uh, in Tennessee now. Wow. How did that affect you, seeing him being hurt and then helping to, to get him to where he is now? Well, the great picture is him coming out of the plane uh -huh. that um, he was put on in this incredible crate, coming down the, uh, the, and it sort of reminded me of the American do dogs, that, the American soldiers who mm -hmm. had their dogs come home from Afghanistan. Right. You know American Dog Rescue, and uh, my foundation sponsored an effort called the Great Reunion or mm -hmm. the American mm -hmm. Reunion, and we uh, reunited 14 soldiers with their dogs from wow. Afghanistan, from Nowzad Dog Rescue, wow. and they met at Kennedy Airport. And mm -hmm. when I opened the kennels and watched 14 dogs that hadn't seen their best friend for a year run cross each other <laughs> right to the right soldier and to oh see the soldiers sitting there mm -hmm. and a 275-pound guy, a solid muscle with his arms around his dog, just crying and wow. so grateful to have mm -hmm. his dog with him. It, it, it's just so heart filling to do anything for animals. Right. So yeah, I can't turn down a lion or a tiger <laughs> from time to time, <laughs> but that's part of the Arthur Benjamin Foundation. American Dog Rescue focuses on dogs. Right, and the first time I met you, we actually met at a movie event for Robert Duvall. There was a, an event going on, and instead of handing me a business card, you actually handed me this, this gorgeous little card, American Dog Rescue, and, and it has your, your name, and where can people go to to help out, help you out with well, your foundation, help out the dogs. Well, first of all, that's my dog tag, and I have had uh, <laughs> my girlfriend put that on and wear it around her neck and say she's my handler. And it's been <laughs> said that I, it's been said that I need a handler, so uh -huh. that's why it's a, a dog tag. But where they can go is www.americandogrescue.org mm -hmm. or Facebook American Dog Rescue, mm -hmm. and uh, they can help in all of these projects. We have select projects on the site. Mm -hmm. People can make donations to individual projects like the Afghan dogs, right. or they can make uh, donations to a specific, like we gave a dog back, dog named Laney, gave it back its site. Mm -hmm. That is awesome. You did quite a few things over the holidays. You, what did you call it, 21 Christmas Miracles? or 21? Well, it was 12 Christmas Miracles 12 Christmas that wound miracles. up being 30 Christmas Miracles, My but goodness. it's been really great to have that kind of ability to help that many animals. Yes, well definitely everybody needs to go and check out your website where they can hopefully donate um, to help encourage people to get dogs, get education on dogs. Um, Arthur, I really want to thank you personally for allowing me to be a part of this show with you. Um, is there anything else you'd like to say to, I just to the hope viewers? Everybody will Go see a rerun of the show or see some of the other video we've done, or but visit AmericanDogRescue.org. Awesome. Yes, you guys can do a lot to help. You can donate and you can volunteer your time. Arthur, I'm looking forward to spending time with you next week because who's our guest next week? Michael Caine, right? Uh, Michael Caine will be on. Yes. And I believe his wife Melina will be joining us. And the surprise guests, Thelma and Louise. I'm so excited. All right, we'll see you guys next time on For the Love of Dogs. I'm Rainy Flynn. I'm Arthur Benjamin and visit AmericanDogRescue.org. All right. See you next time. Thanks.